so many people, when they're talking about this play or they're talking about this material, they want to reduce it even further to did he or didn't he? Or who's right, who's wrong? Who's right, who's wrong? And what's so interesting about Philip's work is that you'll never, ever, ever be able to pin him down because his interest in human beings, their contradictions, the things that don't mesh is so deep. And as an actor, to play with and uh, to be stimulated by that is just is really thrilling. The habit took me a long time to get dressed, longer than the Devil Wears Prada, which I thought I would die getting dressed for that movie every day. You know, between the shoes and the hats and the belt and the thing. This was much more intricate and precise. Everything, there's so many layers to this that you don't see underneath everything. And to feel it, and to feel that the ritual of putting on the habit is part of the ritual of the day. It's part of like the stations of the cross. You get ready to be this servant of God. All, and you, you begin it from the moment you, your feet touch the floor out of bed in the morning. And that was, that was really, that was preparation for the part, you know. And, and, uh, and I loved wearing it. Well, I think it's about the quality of mercy and uh, really understanding that in human affairs. It's about um, a young nun who's uh, assigned herself to a life that she f feels she understands that's proscribed that suddenly doesn't seem like what she signed up for. And it's all through her eyes and it's played out through these different personalities that are in the, that come into it. Philip, uh, Viola, the children, and me. I felt for her as an actress as well as, as a nun who, as a mother superior who is pretty sure that if I take this to the parent, the parent will understand and join me, as difficult as it's going to be, in going after this person who's done a bad thing. And she doesn't, she defies every one of my expectations. And there's so many things in that. I mean, I'm trying to think of anybody else who can convey being truly innocent, being really, uh, you know, the untrammeled snow. She can do that. And even people who are much younger are much more knowing. Oh yeah, it was very, very helpful. Because coupled with the great capability that I felt came from them was their sense, and they're very forthcoming in talking about where they stood in the hierarchy of things within the church. They were very, very much second tier to the priests and the male hierarchy of the, of the church. It was something that they accepted. And, if you, and when I spoke to some of them who were more forthcoming, it chafed, you know, they chafed under that. And so <clears throat> all of that was very valuable for Sister Aloysius. You know, it was a living organism and John always felt that he had the opportunity to come in and, and, and pare it down, distill it to its strongest um, incarnation. 
And then the really astounding thing is that as its playwright, as its parent, he just completely opened it up in a different way, including adding characters, adding scenes, adding the children of the school, which is a huge change. Uh, so it's not just simply opening up a play to you know exterior shots of <laughs> the river. It's introducing another major, major character, which in the play you never see any children. And in this, they are so um, important, central, they're the, the fulcrum of all events, goes right to this little innocent uh, group of kids in the center. Uh, amazing and brave of him to do this. Well, the first thing I thought when I saw the movie, because, you know, I was involved in its, the emotion of it and its argument and its passions and all those things, what I wasn't prepared for was its beauty. It's really, Roger Deakins, the cinematographer, it's like, it's, you know, dare I say, it's like art, it's great, it's moving art, it's beautiful. And uh, that was a surprise. Even this old dragon that I'm playing, in these settings, there's something iconic about it. It's just really wonderful. Um, so that was a surprise. And also, how fun, well, funny it was. I was surprised at that.